right, here we go. This is uh, how to uh, root your f your uh, Motorola Droid X2 that is running on Gingerbread 2.3.4. All right, so what we got right here is Droid 3 Easy Root Script V7. This is what I use. Works very well. There's other ones out there. Pretty much run the same way. All right. So basically, what we got to do is open this up. And we have to go down here to this right here. You have to have the Motorola drivers installed already. I already have those in there. So basically once you have that, all you have to do is click right here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit that and hit run. Okay, and then this screen right here is going to come up. It's very simple. You just follow the directions, okay? So first of all, we're going to make sure we have these prerequisites made. So install the correct drivers, which is the Motorola drivers. Those are done. All right, turn on USB debugging on your phone. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're on stock here. Hasn't even been messed with, okay? So we're going to come down here, and we're going to go to settings. And then we're going to scroll to um, applications. And then we're going to go to development. And then hit there, and it's going to ask you, yeah, do you want to turn on USB debugging? And you hit yes, okay, or I should say okay. And then we can go, we can go back. All right, so that prerequisite is made. So next, we're going to take our cord and we're going to plug it into our phone. There we go. And then we want to come down here and hit USB connection, and we want to hit charge only. That is the next prerequisite push OK. okay. Alright, so we're in charge only mode on our uh, Motorola device so we've made all of our prerequisites. So all you gotta do next is just hit any key on your keyboard. I hit the space. Alright, so from here we should be good to go. So now we're gonna just uh, wait for your uh, phone to connect. So it's running exploit part one. What normally happens in this process is your phone will reboot like two, two or three times. It's a couple times. Oh, twice actually it says right there, note. Your phone will, right here, your phone will reboot twice during this process. This is normal. Alright? So basically you just gotta wait for this thing to completely run. Um, once it's completely done and everything is run on it, it'll just say you can close the window or hit any button and it'll close this window. So pretty uh, simple, easy to, uh, to do. And then once you're done, you'll be root, and you'll have uh, the super user AP, uh, app in your app drawer. So we're almost uh, here. We're getting there. It's part one. All right, there we go. That's the first reboot. Now it's gonna it's gonna run uh, exploit part uh, two here in a sec. All right, there we go. Running exploit part two. Shut down the phone again, and it's going to reboot. All right, so we're we're uh, booted back up, and uh, we should be running exploit part three. Bam! There we go. All right. So it says right here, all done. Your phone should be rooted. You may not close this window or press any key. So I just push a key. There we go. Window closes, and now you're root. So we can close this and uh, unplug your phone, and and you'll be good to go. Let me show you your uh, super user APK now here, or app. APK is the extension on it. So where are we at right here? Super user. There you go. There's super user. So you're uh, you're good to go. You are now root. That's how you would root the uh, Motorola Droid X2. Thanks, guys.